In this video, you'll learn how to customize our 2024 calendar template to meet your scheduling needs in three simple steps. First, we will cover how to schedule tasks and automate their frequencies, be it daily, weekly, or monthly. Second, we'll learn how to create different versions of the calendar and track their tasks in multiple views. And finally, we'll explain how to analyze your workload patterns and find the busiest times with the help of the dashboard. Additionally, this template provides a practical and automated way to manage your calendar with no need to manually enter tasks repeatedly. While we explain how to use the template, we're also going to share a few tips and tricks uh, to help you customize this template for your unique needs. So if you would like to see your entire year at a glance and plan ahead for your busiest days, keep watching. The 2024 calendar template is available in both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Now, the manual portion of the template offers pre-organized tabs for every month of the year, from January to December 2024, with space to write and track the completion of your daily tasks. Write the tasks you'll perform each day and mark them with an X when completed. Now, the header will turn dark blue when all the daily tasks in a day are completed. And as you go through the days, the progress bar above the tab will accumulate your performance. This means that when all tasks are completed in the month, the progress bar will show 100% completed and all headers will be transformed into a darker blue. The daily and monthly tracking of progress provides you a sense of achievement as more tasks are completed throughout the month. To continue with other months, select the next tabs, and the same functionalities will apply for every month of the year. The above method allows you to manually track daily tasks with pre-organized monthly tabs. Now, in the next section, we will explain how to make this process more efficient. If you have a super busy calendar, it could get tedious to manually enter tasks every day, week, month. So this template has a solution. You can create a task and you create it once, you set the repetition frequency to automatically track it in the daily, weekly, or monthly views. Now we're gonna go and give you a breakdown of step-by-step -step how to go about creating these tasks. First, you have to go to the Tasks tab. This tab will be vital for organizing the calendar. Here, we have a table to enter everything about the task that you want to create. For example, you want to schedule a work meeting every Monday at 10 a.m. To do so, first enter the task's start date. In this case, let's use the first day of 2024, which happens to be a Monday. Next, define the type of task. In this example, we've defined the task type as meetings. And in a later section, we will explain how to customize all the task types in your calendar. Then. Describe the task, call it a weekly work meeting, and set its priority either to low, medium, or high. Also, indicate the task's start time and end time, like 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. To automate the task by its frequency and time of occurrence, you can choose the frequency as a one-time, daily, weekly, or monthly event. In our example, the task will repeat weekly and will continue to do so until the middle of 2024. Finally, select the calendar to which the task belongs. This field allows you to have different calendars within one template. That means you can separate personal and work calendars and even assign tasks to other people. Once the table has been filled out with tasks, it should look something like this. Now that you know how to save time by setting up a task's frequency and assigning it different types, priorities, and calendars, we can go to the daily, weekly, and monthly view tabs to see the results of all the created tasks. So let's go to the daily view. The filters available in the daily view tab can also be applied to the weekly and monthly views along with the dashboard. To choose what tasks you want displayed, you will use these filters. The period tab, for example, displays the date range you want to look at. In this tab, type any day of the year to analyze in detail. If you want the template to track 
each day automatically will leave it blank and it will always show the view of the current day. The other filters are about the task type, priority, and the calendar to which the tab belongs, as demonstrated in the Tasks tab earlier. Let's say we wish to create a task that begins on January 1st, 2024. Right off the bat, in our work calendar, we find the task is set for 10 a.m. With this template's daily view, you can visualize different calendars side by side to get an overall sense of the day. Use the drop-down to select the calendar you want to display and the data will populate automatically. In this case, we created a family calendar to illustrate how to make this view. And in case you want to create these different calendars, you can go to the Fields tab. In the drop-down Fields section, you will find the list to add all the calendars you want for your template and the list to customize the task types. As we showed earlier, those lists will automatically be available as dropdowns when registering your tasks. Going back to the template, we finally have a complete list of all the tasks in a day regardless of the calendar. Here, you can customize the view by selecting the details you want to monitor regarding the task, like the type, priority, or any other fields you want. If you prefer, you can also use the filters to look at more specific tasks. The weekly and monthly views are similar to the daily view, but each has its own advantages. As we mentioned earlier, the filters that are found in the daily view can also be applied in the weekly and monthly view. The difference is that when a date is entered, the complete week starting from that day gets displayed. The filters work all the same. If you want to analyze different calendars in a weekly view, select the one you want and the tasks shown will be filtered accordingly. The same logic applies to task types and task priorities. The weekly view includes a completion board with all the details of each task you have that week with color-coded priority indicators, green for low priority, yellow for medium priority, and red for high priority. You can also choose which details to be shown in this tab regarding the task. To customize which details are shown, go back to the Fields tab, and in the Calendar Settings section, check the boxes of the information you want to add or remove from the weekly view. As a result, you have total control over how and what to view regarding your weeks. And for additional personalization, the date and hour formats, as well as the conditional colors, can also be modified. The monthly view shares the same color scheme as the weekly view to indicate task priorities. The same filters will also influence the tasks here. Select the month you want to view and the calendar structure will change accordingly. You can also use the filters to specify the type of task, priority, and calendar you want to look at. One possibility of the monthly view is the customization of the displayed first day of the week. In our case, the week starts on Monday. If you prefer to start on Sunday, in the Fields tab, go to the Calendar Settings section and modify the day of the week the calendar begins on. This way, you can oversee your entire month and plan accordingly, knowing the priority and time of each task. And remember, all tasks are displayed automatically based on the information of just one tab, the Tasks tab, as shown in the beginning of this video. Now, having explored how to create and visualize your calendar, here is a deeper dive into how to customize it further. Before analyzing patterns of the dashboard, here are some valuable tips for tweaking date and hour formats or changing the conditional colors. And of course, these tips can be applied to our other templates as well. Since UExec is based in the US, this template is defaulted to the standards of the United States. However, you can change the date and time format as follows. First, select the field you want to change the format for such as the date filter in the daily view tab. Click on home in the menu bar and use the drop down in the numbers section to choose your preferred date format. If you want something different,
click more number formats at the bottom of the drop down. You'll find all kinds of options to make it perfect for your needs and your locality. The same process applies to modifying the hour format. Select the fields you want to change and do the same as before. Then do the same for every tab that you wish to customize. We use conditional formatting in the priorities field and the schedule sections of the daily and weekly view. In the weekly view, if you want to change your blue color for the tasks, click on any task and go to home in the menu bar. Click on conditional formatting, managing rules, and select the rule you want to change with the edit rule button. Then simply choose the color you want to display and click OK. The same procedure can be applied to other fields that use conditional formatting. Now that we've covered how to create, visualize and personalize this calendar, let's finish this template tutorial with how you analyze all of this. In the dashboard, you can visualize and analyze how your tasks are distributed for each hour of the day, each day of the week and each month. In addition to having the same filters to specify which types of tasks and calendars you want to view at the same time. The charts in the dashboard will also specify the priority of each task to provide you better understanding of your routine and your responsibilities. With this customizable calendar template, we dove into the frequency of tasks, into the different views and showed you how everything works in the dashboard. With endless customization options, priority indicators, and the ability to visualize different calendars side by side, this template is made to save you time and organize your year. And if you want even more tools to keep track of your tasks, your habits, your projects, you can check out our other spreadsheet templates. If you have questions, if you want new functionalities in this template, let us know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.